My dad's in town to visit, so I am bringing one of his all-time favorite foods to the table, his coconut cream pie. I finally asked him for the recipe so I could learn how to make it. It's gonna be so good. To get started, I'm gonna make the crust. I'll grab some coconut oil and some shredded unsweetened coconut. He makes the crust using these crunchy chocolate cookies that are in the shapes of cats. So the ingredients call for 80 cats, but any crunchy chocolate cookie will do and about two cups of them. I'm gonna hold my crust together with some coconut oil, which is gonna just up the coconutiness of this pie. I'm gonna get five tablespoons, and this is unrefined coconut oil because it has that coconut flavor. And then I'll pulse this until the mixture is mealy. Okay, it's starting to hold together in the food processor, so I know that it's just about ready to form a crust. The last thing I'm gonna add is some coconut. So I'm adding a third of a cup of coconut here, and then I'll pulse a few more times to combine. He makes it in a spring form pan. So I'll dump my crust into the pan, flatten it out all around the bottom. This is ready to be baked. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 325 for 25 minutes. And meanwhile, I'm gonna toast some coconut for the top of my pie. I like using these big giant flakes because they look pretty, but the shredded coconut will work too. I'll just pour about a half a cup of this into my dry skillet. So toasting the coconut is gonna add great depth of flavor to this pie, and it'll also add a crispy topping. I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl, and my crust is almost done too, so I'm gonna check on that. Now I'm only using egg yolks in this because they're gonna contribute a lot of richness and they're gonna help my pudding thicken. It's important to make sure that my pot is cold because I don't want the yolks to cook and scramble. Now to my pot, I'm gonna add two and three quarters of a cup of milk, two thirds of a cup of sugar, a third of a cup of cornstarch, which will help my mixture get thick. Two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. I love the flavor of vanilla bean with coconut. Vanilla extract will also do. And then three quarters of a teaspoon of salt to bring out all of these flavors. Now I'm gonna whisk this really well until it's smooth, and then I'm gonna turn the heat on just to prevent those egg yolks from cooking and scrambling in my mixture. Now that it's smooth and combined, I'm gonna turn my heat on to medium high and I'm gonna continue to whisk until it thickens. The soft, creamy pudding with the crispy crust is a great combination. I'll just fold in about a cup and a quarter of my shredded coconut. Mm. It's ready to go into the pan. All right, I'll smooth it out evenly, and I want it to come up over the cookie crust so that when it sets and I take off the sides of the spring form pan, I can see the three layers. Okay, and there it is. That is the base of my pie. I'm gonna have this set in the fridge for about two hours. Okay, guess what I made? The famed coconut cream pie? You guessed it. Yay, my <laughs> favorite. We have to still put the whipped cream on, so okay. do you wanna measure out one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream? I'm gonna beat this to stiff peaks. Okay. Wow, this is beautifully toasted coconut. Look at How's that. How's it looking? Looks amazing. Whoa, yay. Yay.